How to add error bars in Microsoft Excel 2013. Here is some data from a previous class investigation. Here is our graph of the averages of that data. Looks like a good trend. Our data values are close to our trend line. Our R squared value 0.9645 indicates a good investigation. But now it's time to add our error bars. In biology, we generally use standard deviation as a measure of our error bars. So here we go, equals STDEV bracket. Often we can just drag the numbers we want. Here they're all separated, each change in mass. Our number, comma, along like this, number, comma, enter. Here is our standard deviation. Now my favorite button, grab the corner and drag down. Here are our standard deviations. Obviously there's too many significant figures here. We will bring that down to match the rest of our data. We'll add a title and then tidy it up with a couple of cells around the outside. Ready for presentation. We're now ready to add the error bars to our graph. We click on our graph, add chart element, error bars, more error bar options. We make sure we can see our standard deviation. Here we go, graphing options, we want positive and negative, caps on the end, custom, specify value. We want to have this as our positive value, backspace. This is our negative value, okay. Often we get both directions of error bar. Simply click delete of our Y error bars and here is our finished graph. When we look at this, there's quite a large standard deviation suggesting a spread of data. Our trend is still sound, but not as good as we initially thought.